welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm Savannah. On the channel, I talk about the fun side of minimalism, and today I am talking simple pleasures. This video was inspired by a podcast episode that I listened to recently by Valeria Lipovetsky. And in this ep, Valeria was talking about sensuality as in being connected to our senses. And one of the specialists she talked to on the episode was talking about pleasure, specifically about keeping a pleasure journal, which is a lot less steamy <laughs> than it sounds. It's simply keeping track and being aware of all the things that bring you pleasure during your days. And since listening to that episode, I have become much more aware of all the little things in my day-to-day -day life that bring me pleasure and it's nothing new really it's just having a new perspective so i thought i would share these simple pleasures with you guys let's do it the first simple pleasure that i have been doing recently is giving my face an ice bath dunking my whole body in cold water has always been the reset for me so this face ice bath is a mini version of that and i just started trying it because we're staying in montana and the water is so cold just coming from the faucet and it's super nice for drinking and i was thinking what else can i do with this so i found this beautiful glass bowl on this airbnb but i will just fill up the bowl and then dunk my face in it for like 30 seconds, however long I can hold my breath. It's it's not very long. And then I'll come out, dry off, and just feel amazing. This is something I especially love to do right before bed. It really just calms my body down. It just gets my whole head cooled off and ready to hit the hay. My next simple pleasure is having a fizzy drink in a fancy glass. It's taking a very ordinary moment and making it special. And I would always reach for wine or a cocktail, but I've been trying to recreate that same kind of moment and experience with a non-alcoholic beverage. And honestly, it's very, very similar. And my drink du jour has been kombucha. And you guys, I was never a kombucha queen. I was just a little bit weary of the mother, if you know, you know. But I recently found this drink and I am loving it. It's a little different. It's a little more herbaceous. It is the Brew Dr. Kombucha clear mind and this is less than two dollars here in montana it's so cheap and it has rosemary mint sage and green tea it tastes like some magical medicinal elixir from like an old school soda fountain from like an old pharmacy yeah it's a great alcohol replacement i've just been trying to move away from alcohol because it makes me just crappier and feel <laughs> gross in my body so i've been I've been digging this. My next simple pleasure is what I like to call lounging in luxe. I recently upgraded my old grungy <laughs> stained sweatpants to a pair of classic silk pajamas. I got these pajamas in a set called the Sleep Beauty Set from Lily Silk, and I am just obsessed. The silk is 100% Charmeuse silk. It's like glossy, silky, soft, and lightweight. And I got this set in navy. It's a very deep, rich, beautiful navy, and I find that it complements my skin tone really well. I love the pants. They have a great waistband that's really kind of stretchy and floaty and the top is so gorgeous you guys these button details and the sleeves i've even worn this top with my jeans if you know me and my channel i like my clothes to be very very versatile and along with this pj set the set comes with a pillowcase and i have tried out quite a few different silk and satin pillowcases over the years and this one is by far my favorite it's just a beautiful quality it's a lot thicker than the other pillowcases that i've tried and it just feels so amazing on my skin i'm not afraid of aging but i also don't like waking up with my face all like smushed up i'm a side sleeper and so with this pillowcase i find that it actually makes a big difference also this set comes with this little beautiful sleep mask and it is perfect for me when i take those midday naps with my son when i'm feeling extra extra tired sometimes the blackout curtains just don't cut it and you need a little extra a little extra shade on your face and another thing i love about silk is that it's hypoallergenic me and my husband and our son all have the most sensitive skin and they are always stealing my <laughs> pillow if you've slept on a silk pillowcase you know how it is it's just so wonderful and if you're interested in treating yourself buying this set for yourself or for a loved one mother's day is coming up and this is the ultimate mother's day gift i have a discount code for you guys that lily silk provided i will include that discount code in the description box below lily silk does gorgeous gorgeous gift wrapping so if you don't live near your mom or near the person you're gifting this to it is the best option i don't know about you but i hate sending my mom something in the mail as a gift that's not wrapped it just feels wrong so this is a super simple amazing option to check that box my next simple pleasure is a just for fun podcast there are a few comedy podcasts and youtube channels that i like to listen to that are just my safe place that i like to tune into while i'm just doing things around the house and for me it satisfies a similar kind of mental need or mental space as socializing with friends and feeling just seen and heard and understood because i'm on that same comedy wavelength so my favorite podcast right now and it has been for the last six months is you made it weird by pete holmes you guys i am obsessed with this podcast he has one interview a week with either a comedian a writer someone in entertainment or sometimes author 
authors and people into spirituality. He's super interested in exploring the meaning of life, but in a very, very fun, playful way. There's a lot of dark humor, but it's also very light at the same time. He has two other episodes each week that are just chats with his wife and they are just the biggest silly billies. They move really quick. They have the best dynamic. And then there is a YouTube channel that I love called The Purple Palace. This is Shayna. She is an artist. She is just so fearless. She just picked up music, even though she was in sculpture and painting and she's just not afraid to do new things and she does not keep herself in a box. So those are my recs. Those are the two things I like to listen to while I'm just doing chores around the house and living my daily life. My next simple pleasure is experimenting with a new scent. I swear, a new fragrance in your life can add a whole new dimension of just newness and beauty. My husband and I were shopping recently at this boutique here in Montana, and I smelled this little deodorant stick, and it just smelled incredible. A week went by, I was still thinking about it. Another week went by, I was still thinking about it, and so I went back and got it. And it's a Sun Tall scent, which is a scent I have never worn before. It's really woodsy, sexy, cozy, kind of musky with some hints of cardamom, and I think I is in there. Just makes me feel like a whole new woman. And then there's another perfume I've had for a few years now. This scent reminds me of summer. It kind of smells like sunscreen in a way that I really like. And it makes me feel really youthful, playful, carefree, and just sweet. So those scents for me personally bring out these two totally different sides of myself. And there are so many ways you can bring in new fragrances and scents into your life. Of course, you can always do a candle. I love to put a little satchel of lavender into my underwear drawer. A really, really sweet way to get in touch with the scent of smell. This next simple pleasure is such a silly fun one, you guys. It is singing in the car. I forgot how cathartic it is to just sing at the top of your lungs. I used to sing so much on my way to work, on my drive home. I have been getting back into it and it has been putting me in the best mood ever. If I find that I'm a little bit grumpy for some reason, I will force myself to put on one of my favorite songs and sing. And by the end of the song, I am feeling so much better. My go-to song these days is Honeycomb from the TV show Daisy Jones and the six. The book's a little bit corny, but the show's pretty good and the music is amazing. Other than Daisy Jones and the six, T-Swift is my forever go-to. And then sometimes I like to do a little Creed and out, sing in some Creed, yes, Creed from the 90s. Those are some songs I love to belt out with my girlfriends from home and under the sunlight. <laughs> so you can see why singing, <laughs> singing loud and being really silly puts me in the best mood. This next simple pleasure is something very sweet and simple, which is listening to nature. You guys, I am addicted to my AirPods. I am always listening to things, podcasts, music, etc. And so sometimes I have to challenge myself to just pull those bad boys out and be present and listen to the world around me. Now that we're in Montana, we have been getting outside so much more. Our backyard opens up to this beautiful green belt. Right? And just noticing the sounds, the birds chirping, the creek flowing by, the wind in the trees, rustling the leaves. It truly is such a calming force to just feel the weather on and in your body, feel the wind blow through your hair, the sun on your shoulder. It really is a sensual experience and I wish this wasn't something I had to consciously choose to do, but in this crazy screen world that I live in, we all live in, it is a choice and it is a choice I am so happy that I make every time I do. My last and perhaps the best simple pleasure in my life is human touch, specifically a very, very long hug. I feel like living through the pandemic and also just living far from friends and family, it has become more and more common for me and I feel like for a lot of us to have less human touch. And when you do have that moment when you connect with someone just to do a handshake, literally a high five or a hug, it is so simple and special and sacred. And I am just so grateful for all the human touch in my life. And for me, a long hug these days will see seriously bring me to tears. I don't know if it's my age or because I'm a mother now, but man, a good long hug just really does it for me. I can be feeling so lonely and just kind of isolated. And if I get a really long hug from my husband or my son, it can just turn everything around for me. I can all of a sudden feel so loved and supported. So do yourself a favor and get a big long hug today. Get in there, hang out for 30 seconds, a minute. It truly is the biggest mood elevator. <laughs> I hope you guys found a little inspiration from me sharing all of these simple pleasures in my life. Please, please, please comment below. What are your simple pleasures? What are those little things that just make you feel a little more connected to your senses and a little more sensual and joyful? I would absolutely love to hear. And if you're interested in making a purchase from Lily Silk, they have that beautiful beauty sleep set pajama set. They also have so many other gorgeous products. I'm actually wearing, coincidentally, this beautiful silk skirt. 
this mini skirt that I got, I think in the fall. And it's one of my favorite things in my closet. I got this from Lily Silk and they just have so many gorgeous things, things that are really great quality. I'm just so tired of synthetic fabrics. They are just not breathable in the slightest. So I love that Lily Silk has all natural and sustainable fabrics. They are just so gorgeous, such great quality and really worth the investment. So I have that discount code for 12% off. It's gonna be in the description box below. Also, I'll put it up on the screen here for you guys. Definitely get shopping for Mother's Day. This is such a sweet luxury. Mother's Day gift. And there's other beautiful colors. They have a blush pink and then I'll insert the other color on the screen and they have other gorgeous silk pajama sets as well. And again, the code applies to anything in the shop. It's not just this, this pajama set. And the wrapping is just stunning and so, so elevated. I feel like you truly cannot go wrong with this gift. So treat yourself, treat your mom and have a great day, you guys. I'll catch you in my next video. It's going to be a thrifting video. I love you guys so much. Have a fun day. Bye.